All right, so a few days ago, I went into a store and lo and behold, I found some of the new Blacklight Security Breach plushies. So I've been looking for these for ever since I came out now about a month ago and finding them in person was a really, really pleasant surprise. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the two that I got, that being Blacklight Roxanne and Blacklight Glamour Chica. And then I'm going to compare them to the original Gen 1 Security Breach plushies of Roxanne and Glamour Chica. Okay, so before I compare the Blacklight versions to the originals, let's take a look at the Blacklight ones first. Alright, so the store unfortunately didn't have any Blacklight Glamrock Friday or Blacklight Montgomery plushies in stock, but hopefully sometime soon I will be able to find those. So, but for now, here are the two I have got from the set, which is Glamrock Cheek and Roxanne. So firstly, we're going to take a look at Blacklight Roxanne, which I still think is incredibly good, but I do prefer the Glamrock Cheek over it. Okay, so if you've ever watched one of my FNAF Plus reviews, it's just any FNAF merch in general, I think you know what I'm going to say. Yes, I damn like it. One of the things I really, really like about this wave is just the use of the colors. I love how all of them has the black as a base color. I think it looks really, really nice. But I gotta say my two favorite things about the Blacklight Security Breach wave is the fact that number one, they used a really, really like awesome you new know, variation and combination of colors. And also they're incredibly soft, unlike the original Security Breach plushies, which aren't. And I'm, I have specifically said these are the Gen 1 Security Breach plushies because as you may be aware, they have re-released the original Security Breach plushies and now they have soft material. And Glamrock Freddy has a physical bow tie. If you take a look at the Blacklight Roxanne plush, you can see all types of crazy colors all around. It's even cool because look, it has like separate color arms. This one's blue and this one's pink. It's so cool to how many different colors they've put onto it and also it has the new tag as well surprisingly this this one did release in the uk which was not what i was expecting i was actually incredibly close to buying the set off of ebay for much higher than what the retail price is so you can see the ukca logo is right there so awesome yeah as i've already pointed out this plush is incredibly soft like take a look at it. you can you can just see on the camera how soft you kind of expect it to be but something interesting is that they did actually decide to keep the metallic arms and legs which looks really good. It actually does look really good with you know, when it's black because on the original Roxanne Plus, you can see kind of the difference in color. But in this, it looks pretty much the same. And I really love the use of color in this. Like, for example, you've got the blue hair, which looks really cool. And look at the eyes. You've got like the green eyelids, you know, the blue and yellow eyes, and then the pink nose, the yellow snout. So many crazy colors. And then the clothing is green and pink. Green and pink is a really good color combo. There's some really good color combos that they've used. Like, Funko with all the Blacklight merch clearly knows which colors correspond to each other and, you know, turn out nicely. Again, I don't want to just go on and list every single color on it, but like something that's actually really interesting is that most of the Blacklight Rock Sample, now this one's not so much, but most of the Blacklight Rock Sample she's I've ever seen always look really, really angry for some reason. That's just something that the Blacklight ones typically seem to have. So up next beside that, we have the Blacklight Glamour Chica plushie. I was really, really happy to find this one because this one is probably my second favorite from the Blacklight set. I love Glamrock Freddy. I was really hoping he would be there, but unfortunately he was out of stock. Again, just like Roxanne, this plush is incredibly soft. It's actually softer than Roxanne because it doesn't have metallic arms. The only piece that would be more attack is down here and it's... Yeah, really, really cool. Again, just like the Roxanne has different colored arms, which I really like. It's really nice, like, crazy feature I have. One's pink and one's yellow. And again, just the usage of a lot of vibrant colors around here. I love the mixture of the green and the black. That's one of my favorite color mixes. And I love the um, green bow, which looks really, really good. And then, like, look at the face. You got the green beacon on as well, which is crazy. Again, just some really good colors. I love how the clothing is totally different colors as well, like blue and yellow. Because on the original Glamour Chica, they're very similar. Like, pink and purple is very similar color. Again, overall, this plush is really, really good, and I love it a lot, and it's definitely one of my favorites from the wave. And having, like, the false alleys would be really nice, because you know where I display my FNAF plush in that big, like, you know, the big rack? Yeah, this, like, having this set would bring, you know, so much color to that. And out of all the waves of Blacklight things that Funko's released for FNAF, so the, um, the original plushies, the action figures, the pops, etc., I might say that the Blacklight Security Breach plushies are my favorite wave of Blacklight you know, Funko FNAF merch. It looks so nice. I love the black base and all the really, really crazy colors. Like, they use so many. Because, for example, the original, um, like, the original 2018 Wave 1 black, like, FNAF plushies, you know, they focused on just two or three colors, you know? Like, you have Blue Freddy focused on mainly just pink, uh, yellow, and blue. But then you take a look at these. Look at all the different colors on here. You've got, like, all the colors, like... Okay, so now what I'd like to do is have Roxanne be side by side with the Blacklight version and, you know, take a look at the differences in terms of color and just softness, etc. 
So again, let me remind you, this is the original Gen 1 Roxanne plush from 2020, meaning it's gonna have, you know, the more like, well, as people are describing the scratchy material, you know what I mean? It's not the super soft material, like the soft re-release security breach plushies or the blacklight ones. So again, look, you can see all the differences here, of course. Since it's a blacklight version, there's gonna be a lot of color change. So also one of the core, you know, differences is that the original set of security breach plushies had these you know, standard Withered Freddy tags, while the new ones have actual security breach theme tags, which I'm really glad they did that. I know a lot of people were disappointed with the tags for this wave because it doesn't represent security breach in any way. If I go close to this, you can kind of see, look, it doesn't look quite as soft, but if you go up to this, I mean, you probably, you probably won't see much different on camera, but you'd know if you have like both of these in person. Again, you can see the black light one uses a lot more colors than this one does. I'm not sure which one I prefer, because of course this is the actual Roxanne Wolf herself from the game. Um, so I'm gonna put them backwards and you can see the differences from the back. So the back of the black light one isn't quite as crazy, but you still got a lot of, you know, cool colors going on as well. So there's both the Roxanne's beside each other. Very nice. Alright, up next here are the two Glamrock Chica plushies side by side, the black light and the Gen 1 Glamrock Chica plushies. Of course, if you zoom in, you'll kind of see all the, you know, different type of material. And you zoom in this, this one is much softer. Again, you might not be able to see it on camera, but it's clearly evident in person. And then, of course, the tags as well, because you've got the standard with Frey tag and the Gen 1 Glamour Chica, and you've got the Security Breach theme tag for the new releases. So as you can see, you know, this one has the two different color hands, when the original one, it's just the same. So this one uses, you know, a lot less colors, while this one is just color crazy. Now I'm gonna pin them around the back again, just like I did with Roxanne, so you can see how they look from the back. There you have the two of them from the back, what they look like, so they're very cool. I'm not sure which one I prefer, honestly, like, of course, I gotta love these ones for being actually what the Glamour characters look like, but the black light ones look super nice as well. I, they do look more colorful to display. I'm not saying they're better, you know? Okay, so there you have it. Here are the black light security bridge plushies I've got so far. I am going to try my hardest to get Glamour Frame Montgomery. Hopefully, I'll get them in this month. I hopefully I can come back here at the end of the month and watch this video again and be like, Hey, I have Glamrock Freddy and Montgomery now. My set is complete. Yep, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.